More leaks, so we're having to do an emergency video today. I don't normally use the word confirmed in my titles, but this is pretty solid, I think. Plus, there is a question mark on that confirmed, so I think that's fair. Want the latest Apple news leaks and rumors? Subscribe and ring the bell. Now, we've had rumors that Apple's AR VR mixed reality headset is coming for quite some time now. Even back in 2020, there were rumors that Apple was ready to do their first reveal of the hardware and software for VR. But as Mark Gurman said at the time, they really wanted to introduce it in person, and this was at the start of the pandemic. Pandemic. There was talk of a special August event in person, a first for Apple specifically to introduce it, but COVID picked up again and everyone forgot about those rumours. But an unknown and perhaps fake company has filed for trademarks for Reality OS, a company apparently called Reality O Systems, back in December last year with a foreign filing deadline of June the 8th this year. That is two days into the WWDC conference. Now, it seems like all of this was dug up by Parker Ortolani. That's, I hope I've not murdered your name, sir, over on Twitter. And so that's some pretty nice work. Now, the name on this trademark is Ken Quartler. I believe. Why have we got difficult names in this one? I don't like difficult names. I'm going to get Siri to do any more that come up in this video. Now, he's a trademark attorney with a record of working as the house uh, trademark counsel to Fortune 500 companies, including Nike Incorporated and Silicon Graphics Incorporated. Tim Cook is a board member at Nike, just for the record. Now, we've seen dozens of patents for such a device, which would apparently consist of a pair of micro LED or AMOLED displays, both at 8K, one for each eye, and a larger 4K panel to basically cover peripheral vision as well. In recent weeks, we've also heard that Apple has showed this technology to their board of directors ahead of a public reveal, just as in 2011, when they revealed Siri to the board just ahead of the reveal of the iPhone 4S. But on top of all of this we finally have our first even partially in-person event since the beginning of the COVID-19 pandemic coming up in about a week. A number of developers have been invited to Cupertino to watch the keynote presentation as well as the platform's State of the Union presentations at WWDC 22 at the Apple Park campus. Now, we don't exactly know where on campus it is. My guess would be the Steve Jobs Theatre. That's normally where they do events, but maybe they've got something else set up for this. And they definitely want people to come to it because they've already had to tighten up the COVID restrictions because stuff is happening again COVID-wise in California. So they're now having to uh, submit negative COVID tests and wear N95 masks while on site, uh, basically anytime they're indoors. Now, Sam Cole of Apple Track is one of those developers traveling to Cupertino and on the latest Genius Bar podcast, he indicated that he believes that press could well be there too. Though when pressed by John Prosser, he wanted to move on as quickly as possible. I feel like I haven't gotten you to confidently stand your ground and say anything yet. No, no, no. You're saying because you're saying there's developers going? That's not a good, a good enough reason. Why do you think hardware is no, going to no, be no, there, there, number one? There, I think there's going to be more than developers there. Wouldn't we have known today? Wouldn't the press have gotten invited today? Uh, I don't want to say more. I just think there's going to be media there. It's just a, it's just a guess. <laughs> okay. Can we, it's can not we a guess at all. I don't, I don't want to. I don't want to stay on. The, I don't want to stay on that point too long. Okay. Mm hmm. Now, there's a major reason that Apple wants to have people physically present at this event, and I think it's because we will see the software for Reality OS introduced and possibly some developer hardware to produce apps for the platform, just like the developer transition kit for Apple Silicon in 2020. With a wide release later in the year, perhaps around November, just in time for the holiday season. Now, Apple rarely introduces hardware far in advance of its actual release, but when they do, it's because it doesn't have another product whose sales will be compromised by the reveal. For example, the Apple Watch was revealed way ahead of being launched because Apple didn't have another watch that it was going to cannibalize. Just the same as they've always released their Pro stuff, uh, i.e. Mac Pro and iMac Pro at WWDC, and then not sold them until December because they're so powerful that somebody is not going to be buying that, waiting for that, and buying that rather than buying something else that's already in the range. Um, so that's why they might be doing it this way, revealing it now, and then waiting until November to sell it. Now, there's nothing like Apple Reality in their lineup right now, and given the trademark, that seems to be the most likely name for the product line, Apple Reality. So officially confirmed, no, not until Apple stands up on stage and tells you about it, but basically as close as you will get to a confirmation without holding the thing in your hands. But the question is, will you buy it? The rumored price is two to $3,000, but it's hard to know whether it will be worth that before we know what it does. Roll on WWDC.